I spoke with the sheriff earlier today about the cause of the peer fire, and he confirms it started last week when someone set a stolen car on fire and pushed it off the side of a cliff off of Highway 190. Crews working the pier fire feel the community's love every time they leave the command post in Porterville. Lee Qualls is grateful for their work and plans to pray with them Thursday morning. They're doing an awesome job. As far as I know, there's been no structures hit yet, and that's awesome. I got a lot of friends that live up there. Red means it's an uncontrolled fire line. Black means that it's got control line. There are two briefings here every day. Fire information well, officer Steve Kleiss says the fairgrounds are home base for the majority of the more than 1,500 people working to put it out. And everything is in place to manage it, from medical to finance. Officials say the Pier Fire, which started in the Tule River Canyon last Tuesday, has cost more than $14 million to fight so far. The command post is also conveniently located next to the Porterville Air Attack Base, and despite the valuable aerial resources, the fire has burned more than 20,000 acres and is just 20% contained. Firefighters on the ground have been working hard to protect homes, but have been dealing with steep terrain, heavy fuel loads, and extreme heat. Firefighters have to constantly keep themselves hydrated, drinking plenty of fluids, and those challenges are at every, almost every fire we go to, but it's even more so at this fire. They are so happy when they see our trucks pull in. The mobile sleeper company has a handful of units set up at the command post, providing a comfortable and cool place for firefighters to sleep. It gives them a nice night's rest so that they're more refreshed and able to do their job. It cuts down on injuries and sleep de deprivation. Many residents of Tulare County Mountain communities still aren't allowed to sleep in their homes while under a mandatory evacuation order and highway 190 remains closed as the fight against the pier fire continues and you're taking a look at the evening briefing for the pier fire these firefighters will be working throughout the night headed out to the fire line shortly a southern california edison water flume was destroyed in this fire and officials say they expect the cost to replace it will be somewhere in the area of three to five million dollars. Live in Porterville, Brian Johnson, ABC 30 Action News.